Hi, welcome to How to Repair. I have made two videos for you in a series. The first video that you're watching now is on how to remove mould, grime and sludge out of the machine. Machines that may smell badly. Mould builds up because it's a fungus and it can grow inside the soap drawer, inside the drum, Normally you end up with black mould around the door seal and it also lines the pipes in the machine. There are many videos out there that will only take you a few minutes to watch, but this is a much more in-depth video on how to do the job properly. The next video in the series is about how to descale and decalcify your washing machine if you live in a hard water area. The scale builds up on the jets in the soap drawer and causes problems with the spray going onto the powder to remove the powder from the soap drawer. It also lines the drum inside on the stainless steel and also can cause serious damage to your heating elements and pumps. Now, before you go throwing away your washing machine because you think it's not worth it, please listen to the first minute of this video just to explain some facts. At How To Repair we care about the planet. The appliance industry is one of many industries which is responsible for global warming. They build in obsolescence to the machines. This means that things like sealed drums on washing machines are designed so you aren't able to change the bearings on the washing machine and you have to buy a new machine because it's uneconomical to do. But with machines being more environmental friendly now, and we're washing at much lower temperatures, things like mould and grime and these type of problems do build up and are easily rectified. But sometimes we are also to blame as consumers. We throw a machine away for no apparent reason whatsoever. This machine was thrown away because of bad mould on the door seal and the smell coming from the drum. The customer went out and just bought a new machine, which could have been simply rectified for less than an hour's work. And if you want to impress your partner, and prolong the life of your washing machine and save yourself money, continue watching. But if you're going to do the job, do it right. Right, as you'll notice, I've changed into some old shirts because whenever you're using bleach or some strong detergents, uh, if it speckles on your clothes, it will discolor the clothing. So rather than destroying a perfectly good shirt, I've changed into some old clothing. Now, I do suggest always using rubber gloves when dealing with bleach and hard detergents uh, because it will damage your hands. Right, as you can see, the mold is really bad on this machine and this machine was thrown away because of the mold. There was no actual fault with the machine, but you can see how bad the mold is in here. Now, with a scourer, you will be able to remove a little bit of the surface mold with bleach. Now, bleach is only 40, 50 pence in the supermarkets, depending on where you're buying it. And I like using the gel bleach. And you can put this on and go round with a scourer. And as you can see, it is removing a lot of it. But you're having to constantly use an abrasive material on the actual seal. And really, it's a lot of work where you could simply take the seal off the machine which will give you access to other components in the machine which you can do a little bit of maintenance on. So what I'm quickly going to do is remove this door seal and remove the soap door from the machine and we're going to clean this up. Just to show you how quick and easy this is, I'm not actually going to fast forward, I'm actually going to take this off now, you must remember, I have been doing this many years, but it is not a long process. Usually a couple of screws at the bottom. Some washing machines, the panel does not come off and you have to remove the door seal in situ. But I'm just quickly going to show you how much work is involved in this. Need to take the outer band off.
Now the panel can come away. There are some clips. That gives you full access to the door seal. Some have these filler pipes at the top. And that's it, the door seal's off. And there was no fast forwarding or anything else in this video. But if we have a look at the door seal, and I bring this closely to the camera, because if you were cleaning it by hand, you would have never removed all this d dirt that is built up in here. And this is inches thick. You're washing your clothes in this. So the first thing you want to do is some warm soapy water, just a little bit of detergent. Go round the door seal and quickly remove all this horrid gunge that is built up. The reason why I'm removing this now is basically I'm going to be submersing the door seal into a bleach solution and by having this removed already it will not contaminate the bleach too much where it's unable to dissolve all the material. So just quickly go round, clean up the door seal and then we'll dry the door seal and put it into the bleach solution which I'll show you. But you can see the amount of dirt that is coming off this. Okay we've cleaned the door seal up now and dried it off a little and as you can see the black mold which is all the way around here and even on the part you see inside the machine the mold is all the way around here and it's already discolored bleach will slightly discolor rubber um, but I've seen people using white vinegar it does work but it's not as effective uh, as bleach when it comes to mold that is this bad and what we're going to do now is if you've got a bucket at home which is about the same size as the door seal you will only need two or three bottles of this bleach and as I said it's 50, 50 pence a bottle I have a tray which I use all I'm going to do is submerse this into the bleach and every five six hours I may just go around it lightly just rubbing the edges and just so I can remove any because this is exceedingly bad so I'm just going to drop that into the bleach submerse it completely and I'm going to leave that I'm also you can see the state of this water I'm also going to put the uh, soap drawer into here and leave this soaking and hopefully we can remove all the mold off this so we've got the door seal soaking in bleach and we'll have a good clean up of the soap door as it warms up in the lukewarm water but there are other things that you could do on your machine for maintenance if you want to uh, you have a top hose here which is the soap drawer hose that goes to the drum and you also have the sump hose which comes from the drum to the pump and then the pump and the waste hose. We're just going to take this hose off at the bottom so you can see inside but it would be worth actually submersing these into the bleach as well. It's a bit of a disgrace nowadays that manufacturers build sealed drums because you're unable to do any maintenance to the machine. They actually seal the drum in two halves to stop you getting access to the drum spider and the bearings so you can't replace it. Now a set of bearings for the washing machine back in the 80s when I used to do the hot points and intersets and hoover washing machines and I used to put new bearings into them every seven, eight years um, which would only cost about £10. 
Nowadays, if the drum fails on the washing machine, these manufacturers are charging in excess of a minimum of £160, upwards to three, £400 for a new washing machine drum, which could be repaired if the spider was broken, which is the worst case scenario, a spider and a set of bearings would normally cost about 25 to 35 pounds. Nowadays, you've got to buy the whole drum. So also, we can't clean inside this area. Uh, all we can do, as I'll show you later in the video, is use another household product with some old rags to clean as best as we can with agitation and chemicals. So what we're quickly going to have a look at is the sump hose here and we're going to take the sump hose off there are two other hoses which you might want to take off depending on the time scale that you're willing to put into this is the fill hose at the top here and also the drainage hose because these are all areas that can contain bacteria but it's well worth taking this one off because it's the lowest level on the machine and normally there is a pressure bowl attached to it on the side there. As a matter of fact I'll take the pressure bowl off as well so you can see it. So as you can see here is the sump hose and there is a lot of dirt within this. This ball is an anti-siphon hole uh, anti-siphon uh, ball it's designed to float when your machine gets to a certain water level and the detergent then is trapped inside the drum and doesn't go and get wasted inside the actual hoses and everything and oh we have some money in this mm. £1.35 so you just paid for all your bleach uh, now this pressure bowl here it's well worth cleaning this this is attached to the hose which you saw on the side and goes up to the pressure uh, switch this controls the water level of the machine now if this is dirty and blocked you may be getting an incorrect water level in the machine and this may stop the clothing washing efficiently so we're going to take off all these metal clips and I'm going to leave this soak overnight while the other hose is soaking I'm first going to give it a clean up and then I will submerge this only for an hour or so in the bleach because it doesn't it just needs to kill the bleach not actually um, remove it from visibility and it's a black hose and you wouldn't see uh, the fungus anyway so I'm just going to move this out and this one's quite stiff and we'll remove all the metal clips because we don't want that going in and now we'll quickly have a look inside the pressure bowl most of the hoses uh, line up this one's actually clear, no blockage in there. And I will actually remove the last clip and then I'm going to take out this ball so you can see it. Basically a small tennis ball. And as I said, this basically floats as the machine fills up with water. And this stops your detergent when it goes into the machine from lying in the pipes at the bottom basically trying to save you money with regards uh, the detergent not going to waste and it's an anti-siphon device so we'll give that a good clean up and also put that in the bleach for a couple of hours but it's well worth doing the other hoses if you want to go to the expense of some time there's a couple of other little jobs now we've got that hose off and you've got the other hoses cleaning um, if you have a motor that has carbon brushes it's well worth inspecting the carbon brushes to make sure that they're at least 50% uh, of the lifespan because while you've got the machine apart uh, it's a very quick and easy process and a set of carbon brushes is only going to set you back between 10 and 20 pound also in the next video I will show you another machine on how to descale a washing machine element and I'll just quickly take this element out for you 
and this one is not bad at all it's in quite good condition but I can see inside the drum and I'm going to try and zoom in for you now so you can actually see in there um, the build-up of the crud that actually does live inside the washing machine now I've put a light in the drum for you so you can clearly see I'm actually just showing you with the screwdriver here can you see all this and what we'll do once we've reassembled the machine I will show you how to remove all this from the machine okay welcome back uh, it's the next morning we've left the door seal and the sump hose with a couple of small hoses submerged in bleach overnight I only rotated this door seal twice um, basically I'm astonished at how well it has come up and when you see this now when I bring it out the bleach and as I said when you use bleach do use gloves but we're going to take that out I'm just going to try and drain it down a little there's still a little bit of stuff on the outside but you can see how well it just dissolves by the rub of my gloves I'm going to submerge that in some warm water and then we'll have a look at it And I'll bring this up to the camera for you. Can you believe that? For the sake of a pound fifty in total materials, it has absolutely turned the door seal into a new door seal. There are a couple of wear marks as you can see, but all that mould that was on here has completely gone. Now what we're going to do next is I'm just quickly going to clean these up off camera and we're going to clean up the soap drawer area and reassemble the machine and then I'm going to show you how to remove the last bit of crud that's in the machine with doing a hot wash with some detergents that you have in the house. Okay when it comes to cleaning the soap drawer I just use some of the bleach that was on there with some warm water give it a good rub around thoroughly to get it all wet you could have done this the night before just really go around the whole machine leave it stand for an hour then do it again and then with a toothbrush or an old toothbrush a brush or any other cleaning implement just go round clean up all this and if you do find you have a lot of calcium in here what I suggest you use is the descaler that I'll show you in the next video but you may have to take the soap drawer off the machine right I've reassembled the hose as you can see and it's all immaculate cleaned the ball up it's well worth noting by the way if the ball is really dirty and in here is dirty the ball can jam and sometimes this can cause problems with the machine emptying so I'll just quickly reinsert all this and then we'll clean up all the front and have a go at the soap drawer again and then we'll put the machine on the final test now that we've put the hose on uh, just a quickie I forgot to mention was it's worth taking the filter out and making sure there's no debris in there and it's nice and clean uh, if it's full of lime scale or you've got a lime scale build up you need to see the next video on what to do on that just quickly put the door seal on Thank you. 
Okay, we've put the door seal on and as you can see it's now immaculate. We've cleaned up the soap door with bleach and some detergents and just had a good scrub round there for 5-10 minutes. We've got it as good as we can but as I say if you see that the jets or there is a large buildup of calcium there's a little bit at the back here but if you do see this calcium buildup in this you will need to take the soap box off and watch the next video on how to remove all the calcification that is built up inside the box. Okay, the machine is completely together. The last thing we're going to do, because I'm going to be showing you how to do this properly in the next video, but as you can see on the door here, there is lime scale buildup, which is around the door. Now you will need to use protective glasses and also rubber gloves, but I always use the Kilrock descaler. Now there's two types of descaler. One is a bear with me one is a fomoic acid which is what I'm using now and this shouldn't be used on rubber surfaces the other one is a phosphate acid I believe yeah that's correct a uh, phosphoric acid now this is very very strong and you want to use this in a ventilated room but if you just put a bit on the scouring pads and make sure you're fully ventilated go round the glass just for a few minutes and this will remove with the abrasive pad all the lime scale that has built up around this. After you've let it stay on there a few minutes just go round with a damp cloth and just remove all of it and then you'll be able to give it a wipe down. Okay we've reassembled the machine and the only part of the machine really that has got a bit of grime still on there is the between the inner and outer drum. Now the simplest way to solve this problem is select your machine to a boil wash. Get some old rags because the machine moving about is actually going to help agitate the water against the side of the drum. If you didn't have any clothes in there it wouldn't be agitating and therefore the vibration wouldn't be letting the detergent do the work. And believed or not I'm going to use dishwasher tablets. Now a normal dishwasher would use three to four litres of water each fill cycle. Now a washing machine uses a lot more than that. So I normally put in two or three minimum dishwasher tablets, select it onto a boil wash and I'm going to stick just a squidge of bleach in. Turn the machine on making sure that you do not have a pre-wash. Start the machine. The machine will fill with water to its normal level, but this is not good enough. It needs to be, the water level needs to be about two or three inches above the lip of the bottom of the door seal. This will allow the water and the detergent to get onto the sides. We'll just wait for this to fill and then we'll top it up and I'll show you how to top it up. Now as you can see the water level is just come up. There's still water going into the machine but we'll leave it to fill to its normal level. Now while it's doing this we've cleared all the mold out of the machine and we're about to clean the drum completely. The best way of maintaining your machine is to actually after every wash just with a dry cloth dry out the door seal if you can just open the soap door and leave it slightly open because what you're trying to do is get rid of the moisture in the machine because most people shut the door immediately leave the machine for a couple of days and then do the next wash this is when mold builds up now as you can see the machine has filled and it's nowhere near the top of the seal this is because it's doing an eco wash even on a 90 degree now what I'm going to do now 
is I'm just going to use a watering can and I'm going to slowly fill the machine with the watering can. You don't want to overfill the drum all the way to the top. You just want a couple of inches above its normal height on the door seal. That's one. Now we're going to put a second watering can full and you can see the water level rising. That's about right. The water level that's there at the moment, we're about an inch, inch and a half above the door seal. Now we're going to let this machine heat up until you can actually feel the glass is warm. Now at that point it might be worth switching the machine off for an hour to let it soak and this will actually help if you just turn the machine off and then restart the machine. Normally if you turn the power off it will start again when you turn the power on at the, at the where it left in the cycle. So the machine will heat up now for about 30-40 minutes and what I'll do is I'll show you the colour of the water that comes out of this machine because I can't show you inside the drum so what I'll do is let this machine finish its cycle and then we'll have a look at the actual colour of the water that comes out and this will determine how much dirt and rubbish this has actually got off the machine. Okay the machine now has been running for about 35 minutes and what I'm going to do is just turn the power off and leave it soak and just for 30 minutes or so just to let this hot water really absorb as much of the dirt and gunk that was at the bottom of the drum. The longer it gets to soak before it finishes its cycle the better but just look at the colour of this water. All these rags that went into the machine were already clean. This is just the gunk that comes from the machine. You can see here how much dirt was actually in the drum. Now this is quite hot, I'd imagine this is 70-80 degrees. We're going to leave it for 30 minutes, let the machine then finish its cycle and I've set up a couple of buckets below so we can capture the water so you can actually see how bad it is. Okay, the machine's about to empty because it's got to the point and you can see the water coming out of here I can actually see lumps of bits of dirt and everything coming out of the pipe. Let me just show you what's actually in here now. The machine's doing its rinse cycle. And I can bring that up to the camera for you. That came out of your washing machine. And you can see all the sediment, now it's cooling, starting to collect at the bottom. Now, if you maintain your machine on a weekly basis of just leaving the door open, wiping the door seal, leaving the soap door open slightly, letting the moisture come out of the machine, this will maintain the machine on a weekly basis. Once every month, do a boil wash with some old rags and a couple of dishwasher tablets and this will remove most of the sediment from a, w around the drum. The other thing that you can do is if you've got a scaling problem and calcium is building up in the machine, I suggest you watch this next video. I hope you enjoyed the video. Remember to subscribe to the channel as that's what keeps us going and able to make these videos for you. All the links to the parts and other videos are in the descriptions below. And if we really helped, remember you can always click on the Bipolar Beer page. Thanks again for watching. <music>